Hello everybody. Welcome to Feldy. This is reaching back in time to a map created in Farming Simulator 2011. And I don't know that a series or anything was ever done on it proper. You can look it up on YouTube and I think the videos you will find of it are mainly by the map author, maybe by a couple people that helped him to kind of share the map. It was created by Farmer Yip. It's for Farming Simulator 11, and I believe he finished it. It took a long time, and he finished it just prior to, or maybe even slightly after, the advent of Farming Sim 13. So this is reaching way back, and but it like sometimes happens, you know, you'll have people that are particularly gifted who are, as they say, ahead of their time. I've never seen a map like this, especially in this uh, era of the game, that was so advanced. I mean, there are things in here you, you're still not going to find even in Farming Sim 22. There was a special thread set up on the old site FSUK where Farmer Yip developed it, and I had thought I had maintained a copy of that thread when the FSUK site closed. Turns out I hadn't, uh, but it was really interesting reading. I remember reading through it one time, just the ideas that came out, the collaboration amongst modders you could see. It was uh, really very cool to, to see. And unfortunately, I don't know if the map ever received the popularity or kudos that it truly deserved. Um, so I kind of want to showcase it a little bit. I've been thinking about it. So, and, and I know I had another uh, video on this previously, kind of leading into another map by Farmer Yip called Glen Ellie. But I've always wanted to come back, and I realize this is reaching way back in time to an old game, so who knows how long I'll be able to do this. You, you know, we are going to see a huge difference in this game versus how it looks today, Farm Sim 22, 19, and so forth. Uh, but for its time, you know, this map was simply ahead of its time in the processes it had the player do the new fruits, it had its own pack or set of mods, uh, just many, many interesting things that you just don't see very often when someone puts a map out there. A map may have a few unique features, but a lot of times the map is merely, the mapper merely creates a new landscape. And I say merely, I mean that in and of itself is, is a big push to do but when they create whole separate mods that you need to run the map when they build so many things into it that are just unique you know you just you just don't see that very often so i wanted to just show it a little bit and and like i say i don't know how long i'll i'll do the series i wanted to just share a little a little bit on it here so but maybe first before i continue i should set up my handy dandy timer here that Eustace Farmer gave me so I know in 30 minutes are up I know you can hear it ticking so I'm gonna set that over here so I don't go too long on the episode and I realize I've stopped here on the title screen one of the cool things uh, actually a necessity not just a cool thing for this map that a few mappers do and Farmer Yip did it here is he painstakingly made a PDF file that has uh, narratives in it that helps you know what to do on Feldy, where to go, how the processes will work. So I wanted to show those just a little bit. Um, oops. He has a whole, it's all in PDF form. It comes inside the map, I believe. Maybe it's wrapped up in there. I, I can't remember exactly how it was. I have it just sitting in my mods folder. It just gets ignored. So I, I have it on here, and it's it's a 51-page manual, if you will, on how the LD map works. So here he's indicating some of the features that it has, you know, which we'll get into. There's missions that open gates in certain areas, so you can access uh, certain areas of the map. Um, it includes other 
commodities in there, OSR, red clover, peas, and animals. You know, back in this time era, some may remember Farm Sim 11 had only cattle, as I recall, and cattle was new. In Farm Sim 09, there was no animals, and Farm Sim 11 added multiplayer to the game, and they added cattle, dairy cattle. So this one here also has cows, and it has sheep and pigs, and I believe that there is chickens. Uh, it, I mean, there's a quarry, you know, to haul up rock. There's uh, water in there, conversion plants. Later on, there would be, and, and now in Farm Sim 22, you know, there's a concept of factories where you can build certain things, make certain products. Well, that's where I say this was uh, very much ahead of the curve because they had this kind of built in back then. So the uh, it's it's a fairly quick read. It's only 50, it's 51 pages, but it does read fairly quick, you know, just giving an outline of of what products you can add together and create other products, you know, that you'll need as you work in the game. Um, it had here's all the conversion processes and you know, more info on this. You start off in the quarry. There's kind of a tractor you need to liberate out of the air that you need on the farm. And you have to haul a bunch of rock and fill in a hole before it lets you get out of there. I mean, there's just all sorts of creative things that they put into it. It has all the HUDs listed. There's kind of an overview of the map. It's definitely a unique shape. Um, you know, and I got a, a two. I couldn't find the original that I had, or maybe I could. I don't think I'm using that one here. At some point, as I was uh, playing Farm Sim 11 back in the day, I started tinkering, you know, trying to learn how to mod a little bit. So there's kind of an unused portion of the map over here. You really don't see it all here. So I created another field in here, and I made a road around there. Oh, I had grandiose plans for things I wanted to do, and it just never really materialized. But it's still kind of in there on the version. I think I put a big old fat gate up here. I have no idea if it even works. At the time, I didn't know how to do Lua coding, which is what you kind of need in order to open you know, a gate or to have a, a process that it would open it. So, but all the rest of it here that we see um, is all created farmer, farmer, yep. So I, I maybe not, won't even go into this area over here that, that I had, even if I, <laughs> even if I figure out how to open the gate, it's just kind of an area that has no purpose. It's uh, intended to be an island type map. So there's going to be water out here that we see, um, Anyway, we'll explore the map here in a little bit. So this shows locations, missions, how to make something with something else. And this here, you know, there's a biofuel plant, which we'll eventually see. And there's a certain quantity you have to have in storage in order to open access to another area of the map. And you got to maintain those or else it'll the gate will close and then you are going to have to figure out how to open it back up so like it says you have been warned i think in the past when i played this um i i seem to recall it was pretty easy to get them open and keep them open and i i think i was focused more on the farming at the time and i wasn't even doing much with some of these things that they have i mean there is so much in this map you know, to try to get into all of it. Well, kind of like it says in, in the opening screen, it's really a multiplayer type map versus a single player because there's so much to do. You know, or it would take multiple people to really uh, take advantage of everything that's been built into it. So anyway, they outline the missions here. You, you know, he's got pictures and everything. I just really admire the work that Farmer Yip went to in order to help players have a leg up and, and really for, oh, even a secret mission. For a map like this, and like I say, it's pretty much a necessity to have something where you kind of know what's going on. And actually, this is probably, you now here's going to show them odds. This is the end of the work part of the map, if you will. So that's why I say it's really a short read. Now it shows all the mods that come with it. This is the mod pack. And each of them designed, if you will, for the map. Now, in my experience with it, 
not all of these mods are trouble free. So I don't know if it just was missing something in, in the edits or, or last minute trying to get it out to the public. There are so many moving parts with mods. And if you're going to include a mod pack with a map, you know, you can, in order to even get it done and get it out to the public, you know, you kind of maybe have to send stuff out before it's entirely ready. Um, so there's a number of these in here I've worked on over time. Most recently, I just worked on the header. You know, some silly thing here, like this is a pickup belt header, and when you turn it on, you should see the whole thing move. Well, all you would see in the uh, version that came with the map was kind of the end here where it would move, but you wouldn't see the rest of the belt move. So there'd be little issues like that. I mean, it still worked. I just figured, well, if I can get it to move, then uh, why not? So there's various things like that. So these came with the map as a pack and, and really need to be in your mods folder in order to make it work. Yeah, these are list of all the mods given them by name. It even comes in here, shows pictures of them all individually. And then now he's helpfully showing where all the triggers are. You know, what map goes into the ocean where you would pick up kelp and use it in a process? Here, I think, I believe it's to help make uh, fertilizer. Or maybe it's, yeah, I think it's fertilizer. Well, maybe I have to do some more studying. And so he has just, uh, uh, um, in the uh, manual here, he shows where all the triggers are, where you dump stuff, where you pick up stuff. Yeah, bill destroyer, sell point for cattle and pigs. Yeah, that isn't milk here. Uh, it's uh, selling cattle uh, for meat. So, and a lot of these, you know, I, I played it back in the day, but I didn't explore everything that's in there. I remember this trigger selling potatoes in this place. Um, yeah, this is storage here. So just a really helpful manual with pages and pages of info to show where you do stuff in the map. Uh, hopefully very helpful to a player wanting to, wanting to play it. So let me come over to show the mods here. I, yeah, I got an I use folder in here for those that were kind of popping errors. I think some of these others may also pop errors. It's, it's a hodgepodge of mods. I really don't know what all's in here. Um, what I do know is in here is the all these FY mods that start off the prefix. That's uh, Farmer Yip, I think. And those are all LD mods. So there's a string of them down to about out here. The rest that are in here are just generic. Oh, yeah, it's a manual. Our generic Farm Sim 11 mods. I don't even know what's in here. Uh, hopefully, none of them screw anything up. Yeah, Piper, that's like an airplane. Uh, Royal Bank of... Oh, oh, that's right. We didn't have a bank back then. So, this is to borrow money, I believe. And so, yeah, even good old course play. And I think this was the first version for course play. So, just a smattering of uh, mods and... And so, nothing fancy here. I just kind of wanted to show a series on this wonderful map, and, and I don't think any series has ever been uh, done on it. Um, and I, you know, not that long ago, I was in contact with the mod author, who's still out there. He's no longer active in the Army Sim uh, community. Uh, but I asked him for permission to post Feldy over on modhoster.com, along with the mods. And he, he was very gracious for me. He gave me permission to do so. So if anybody ever wanted to check this out for themselves, uh, you're welcome to do so. Oh, it's over on Farm Sim 11. And even though it's under my name, it's it's not my name. It's posted with permission. Uh, belongs entirely to Farmer Yip. So without any further ado... Start farming. I'll have to maybe amplify the sound of the at that we just heard. But that was Farmer Yip himself making a statement coming into the game, welcoming us to the map. Welcome to Feldy, now get your butt out there and start farming. So, 
this is kind of where you enter the map. Uh, maybe if I pull up the uh, PDA map, we're basically right in the center. And I believe Farmer Yip is Scottish by, uh, by country of where he's from. So I assume a lot of what we see in here is is going to be familiar maybe to those in Scotland, but I, I really don't know. I've never been there. Um, anyway, we can tab to various things. And this, uh, yeah, here is down in the quarry. That's a loading machine. And to load up a rock, and I can't move my mouse. You may remember, it right ahead of it's a pile. And in the manual, it indicates there's a trigger in there that can be used to load up material using this loader. And wow, that thing is noisy. So I'm going to tap to something else. Basically, the tractor that's down here. So here's where we're trapped kind of in the quarry. I mean, some of the equipment's down here, but not all of it. So we'll just continue tabbing to other places. You can see on the PDA map where we are, here's our combine. You know, it's colored yellow. Oops. <laughs> Feldy Organic Livestock. What a name for a combine. I think it's the Dutz Far combine, just colored yellow. So whoever was working with him when he made the map must have helped color this mod or whatever. But I think it's a, based on the Dutz Far uh, combine kind of a strange header it's a little bit off center uh, but I I'm assuming that's that's what it's like in real life maybe maybe someone that's been in a dude's far knows so we start with a big loader we start with a tractor trailer we start with this combine and looks like a grain table behind it let me see what else we have Here's another tractor back near the entrance, kind of where we plopped onto the map. That's kind of on the main farm. And I'm wondering if just up to the left of it, that looks like fuel. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's where you can fuel up. Here's a... What is this, a Land Rover? Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly that is something we can use to buzz around on the map which we will in a moment aha we got a wind rower here so he's really given us quite a bit of machinery to start things off I think you can use this wind rower to cut uh, well, cut pretty much anything uh, especially grass I believe you can use it on the red clover which I think is growing up in in a field I'm going to have to try to remember some of the particulars of Farm Sim 11 uh, to remember kind of how some of these things work. So I think that the functions are a little bit different from uh, how they are in later versions, which, which I'm a little more familiar with. Now, looking off to the left, you know, here's an area uh, where where it's sometimes hard in a map. You look at the ad, you see a, a field up there that's yellow and green. And it's all the same field. And so, I mean, there's some distance textures that aren't quite blending in there. I know before uh, starting this, um, I opened the map and I tried to get as much viewing distance as I could. And let me just see what my FPS is. Yeah, 47, that ain't too bad. It ain't good, but it isn't too bad. Uh, just to see a little bit further and have a little richer color with the textures and whatnot. So let me go back to this here Land Rover. Like I say, that's kind of noisy, so I, I'm going to have to mess with the sound later when I do, do my editing. Let me... I'm right in the middle, and it's always hard to know where to start. Actually, we're right by the farm shop, so right behind us, this area that we see, actually, probably over by that bouncing green arrow, whenever we purchase something, is it's going to show up on the lot. Probably just to the left of the wind rower and maybe in this other area where, the, where this vehicle was parked. 
It's kind of a couple of areas where the roads are going off here, so uh, I think I'm just going to head up here and we'll zip on down the road here. And you know, when you look at the textures, they're not the same, of course, as they are in later versions of the game. Not quite as detailed. And this here, it isn't one of the in-game crops. I think Farmer Yip worked up all the textures on this. Even this hedgerow over here. Um, boy, those got berries. Is that blueberries? Huckleberries? Um, and it might. Some of these hedges in here, I know, are mowable hedges or, or where you can cut them. I don't think these blueberry things are... Uh, but I know some of them are in there. We just got to find out which one. I mean, that, that's something else. You just don't very often see the hedge trimming in uh, in a particular map. But I think off to the right, that looks like potatoes. And potatoes, I don't think, would come into the game as a fruit until Farm Sim 13, I believe. I know they're in there 15, uh, but not uh, 11. So that's an added... Oh, wait a minute. Well, maybe I take that back. Is it this? Now, here's where it's going to be a challenge. In later versions of the game, we had... Well, let me just do, like, the escape. No, that, that ain't going to do it. In later versions of the game, there was... Uh, you could go to a map and see if something was harvestable. You could see what fruit was planted. You know, these here now, are these sugar beets? Hmm. That almost does look, look like a beet of some kind. I'll maybe have to consult the manual and see kind of what's in there. Over at the left, it looks like either barley or wheat. But... Got a little road in here, just drive through here to kind of look at the fields and the crops. And see which direction we go. Yeah, this is heading, if we turn this way, that's going to head down to the main farm. So maybe we want to zip kind of along here. Yeah, some of this has come back to me. This would be a dirt path along the road and fields scattered here and there. I remember harvesting some of them. You can see kind of over there, over a ravine, there's a railroad track. If you study the hills, you would realize that's no place to have a railroad track as it, as it doesn't come out anywhere. It just disappears into a mountain and and there's no... It, it doesn't make sense geographically, if you will. Oh, but still kind of a neat touch. Long before there actually was a train in-game. Now, I don't know what this crop is. That looks like pods. So that must be beans of some kind. Is it soybeans? You know, like I say. Oh, maybe it's peas. You know, there is peas in the map. I bet that's, that's what the ad is. And I'm going to need to figure out how to harvest the ad. I really don't have a clue. You know, if it's something combined, which... You know, I don't think you would do unless the peas were dried. So I'm not sure how it, how they did it in here. But, but as is typical with Farmer Yip and his maps, he loves hills. I do too. And so if, <laughs> if you're going to play this thing, you need to get used to having lots of hills and no square corners or very few of them. So we're kind of out here on the main road. You can see kind of where I'm at on the map. And, oh my goodness, that's just a steep on hill. Look at that. And this is back in the days of Farming Sim where you couldn't really tell with the camera when you were head on just really how steep it was. You know, when you're looking here, it's going to change the position of the camera as we go down the hill. And you're not going to be able to tell, you can tell a little, but not that much, just how steep that it is in here. Actually, I think the Giants redid the camera entirely once you got to Farms in 13, smoothed some things out, you know, so it wasn't quite as bumpy as what it seems now. 
because right now the camera is detecting and feeling every single bump in the road and it makes for an extra bumpy travel and I know they smoothed it out later so you could uh, see better you just went by a a oh hey there I could get a mouse pointer by turning on course but hey we just went by this road over here it's kind of a back road that comes up through here you'll see me down on the uh, PDA map here a back way to get to the quarry there really isn't much to do over here it's just literally like I say a back road um, to get up to that area and it's <laughs> it kind of goes along a cliff it's a little bit treacherous to go along there especially if you use course play I should probably be driving on the left side of the road and maybe I started commenting on this I don't know if he has traffic enabled on this map I'm guessing maybe he doesn't uh, which means I should probably remove a couple mods that I have in there back in this era some guys made mods for the traffic so you could have different types of vehicles up here so this over here it says warehouse and I almost think it's a type of sell point if you have the goods let me see if I can turn the light on oh my yeah this is where you bring eggs egg static <laughs> whatever and maybe you can store things in here too whoa <laughs> uh, hmm I'm gonna blame that on the game and not just my poor driving you'll notice like right in front of the vehicle here a little flickering line and I know there's been a couple of them on the road and yeah there's another one and what it is is it's the seams between all the road pieces and maybe some of them you don't see but as a mapper when you're dealing with pieces like this it is really hard to join those up perfectly so that you don't have that flickering effect I know in some of the more modern maps from, from modern versions they they just put uh, they do work it up in blender um, and that way the road is seamless and goes all over the map and it's one big piece now I'm not sure entirely what this is intended to be here it's kind of a turn off to something and really I don't know what I guess I'm not far enough forward the grass is kind of going through here which maybe is deliberate maybe he needed this piece for something and Oh, I still can't see what's on the cliff there, so I guess I'm going to have to go out on a... Ooh, I don't want to go too far. Yeah, I guess it's just a normal cliff ace. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's a turnoff here, unless it was just uh, for the player to stop here and kind of have an overlook so they could see the kelp beds down here or whatnot. But I also suspect he maybe just needed an extra piece for the road. Maybe he had an idea for this area that never materialized and he just decided to leave the piece in there because of road network. I mean, it's, it's hard to create this for an existing terrain. And once you do, it's hard to undo it. So who knows what happened. That's known only to Farmer Yip. Um, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but it'd be interesting to have him do a video series on this so he could describe what he did to create all this. Down here is the kelp beds going to kelp island and we're gonna hit run up against a, a, a sign here that tells us we need to do a mission to open it up. I think it's something up on yeah access denied, objective not completed so we're going to need to do a mission to open that up so we can access kelp beds. If we decide to, you know, maybe there's, maybe we'll decide we don't need it down here. I'm amazed at how smooth he was able to get many of these roads. You know, if you've ever done a little bit of, well, hey, that's cool. 
gates automatically opening. This road... Oh shoot, let's just go up it. We got time. I think I'm going to get rid of them odd in here that makes my camera ineffective, but this road I think takes us up to a, a place where we can do some mission work. You know, these trees, I'm guessing you can drive right through them. Yeah. These are a type of foliage trees. They aren't hard objects. And I gotta say, if you're running a combine in here, or a tractor even, and you're hiring the equipment to be done, it is nice to have the ambiance of a tree, but not have a hard object that you run into. So you'll see your equipment just drive right through them. The downside of it, of course, is, well, just look at them. They're, they're really a low quality uh, type tree. I mean, that, there's just no other way around it. And, a, a, and typically what you'll see a modder do is they will use them at a distance. So if you look up like on this hill, say, and let's say this was an inaccessible part of the map, which I think it basically is. Matter of fact, I think there are trees up here. We just don't see them because uh, we're limited by, uh, oh, what's it called? The clip distance. Clip distance being how far away do you see stuff. And right now it's telling the game not to render the trees that are on this hill. But there are trees up there. So if we were able to see the trees from here, if they were the lower quality ones, well, it wouldn't matter because it's at a distance. So... A lot of times what modders will do, they'll put the best quality stuff in the foreground where they know the player is going to be roaming. And they they save the other stuff for the background where you don't need detail. Now, coming down this road here, um, on either side, these hedges, I believe, are trimmable. So, look at them. These almost look like those that blueberry hitch. So maybe that one we saw earlier is mobile. I really don't know. Yeah, coming in here, it's kind of like I say, there's no straight corners, no straight roads. One would think you could have had a road coming straight over the hill here. I mean, the highway is just right over here. But nope, that's not how Farmer Yip uh, made it. He made kind of a crooked road. Must be some old property lines that they were following. So here I think you bring kelp and some other things to make fertilizer. Maybe that's on one side. Maybe biofuel. I wonder if it's biofuel. So maybe corn goes in here. He's got some helpful pictures on the wall here. Canola, corn... I really don't know what the ad is. Um, yeah, and I think fertilizer comes out over here. He has a special fertilizer spreader with the game that I remember messing with. Um, anyway, right now back out on the main road here. We'll continue just a little bit more. Um, there's the water down there. I think this is a dairy place over here where maybe milk comes. I think they have milk in this map. It's, uh... Is it an island down here? Grain mill, I guess I'm seeing on your market. Back when I played it, I didn't, uh... Oh yeah, it is an island. I really didn't spend that much time over here, so I must not have... Yeah, well, I just flat out don't remember. I see some cattle, I see some... Oh, that's a bale destroyer. I think you take your bales over here and you can make some money. So, yeah, kind of an island here to burn some stuff. Oh, maybe there's something down over here also. Oh, yeah, it looks like another cell point for something in here. I don't know that it has a picture on the wall to tell us, so... Yeah, we're going to have to go look at the manual to see see where all we need to take stuff. So I don't know, not bad for an old game. I realize the textures and everything are going to appear horribly out of date compared to the newer version. But you're not comparing apples and apples. I mean, it's 
before its time, it was a was it or eight game. Continuing down the road, you <laughs> had that flicker. Oh my. I think that's where the pieces overlap. Sorry, I'm kind of driving like a drunken sailor here. Here's maybe the milk place. More uh, hedge that's trimmable. Yeah, I think you can bring milk in here. I don't know if you can drive all the way around. Um, doesn't look like you're supposed to. Maybe you can, but that doesn't mean you should. Yeah, some of this hedge is overgrowing the road, and I remember trimming the hedge a little bit, but I, I seem to recall that it grew rather quickly, so I think at some point I gave up and just said, I'm going to focus on the farming and leave it be. Now, that's maybe something that could be edited in the map's i3d file, um, but... I, uh, I haven't I haven't chosen to do that just yet. I may do that later, especially if I'm going to do a series. Now here's a couple hard object trees. In contrast to, I think if I, well, I don't know that I want to drive off the road. I don't know what where flat is, but I think these are hard objects. So so they would they would have collisions on them. Well, I think my half hour is more than up. I heard the uh, the alarm go off kind of when I did a jump cut a little bit earlier. So I'm going to leave things here. Thank you so much for coming along to see this wonderful map. And next episode, I'll just pick up right here where we left off until we explore uh, kind of what, what this map has. And then we're going to follow uh, Farmer Yip's advice. And we're going to get our butt out there and we're going to start farming. Uh, have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.